So Channel 7 apparently told Clive that nobody would support him. Uh, let me just show you what it looks like in this walk. We just had Clive's press conference up here at our Mossman office. Might just ask a, a few people who may have heard him speak what they thought of the messages that he presented today. Uh, you've heard Clive speak. Uh, what were your thoughts? I think he's a very fundamentally good Australian human being and the fact that he has a fair bit of money is a real great benefit for Australia because he's using it, I consider it properly. Full power to the United Australia Party and the other miners and we're going to have a good showing in a couple of weeks. So you've heard Clive speak today? Yep. What are your thoughts? Uh, well, let's just say that we need to move forward in the right direction. Clive has actually outlined something here that we actually need to think about. We're not just thinking about this election, you've got to think about this might be the only election there. And you know what, you've got to make a, a voice here, otherwise you resign to the fact you'll have nothing. Well, I'm here with Martin, he's now heard Clive speak in person, what are your thoughts? Not many people have the opportunity to try to make a difference for their country in the future. Clive sounds committed to keeping Australia free and the kind of place that we want to live in. I hear you, Anne. She's just heard Clive speak in person now, so what are your thoughts? I think he's terrific. He can be funny as well. You just heard Clive speak. What did you? What, what are your thoughts? Uh, he's, a, he's a genuine. He's fantastic. a gentleman, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nah, that's good. You just heard Clive speak as well. What are your thoughts? Uh, Clive's a good family man. He's a good businessman. And he's also just a generally a good guy, genuine. Yeah, he works. means well for Australia. So when they say he's spending $80 million on this campaign, he's actually spending it on Australia yep. for getting the message out there. Absolutely. If people actually took time to listen to his policies, I don't think any of the major parties have actually... Got, got any anything. policies? It's many policies as the trillion dollars superannuation, the interest rate cap on, on home loans. I mean, every Aussie should be voting for that. He gets it, he's a smart businessman, he's successful, so hopefully he does well. I think that Clive talks common sense and there's very little that you can actually say that isn't true. Mm. It's just that what happens is that the mainstream narrative tries to snuff out the truth for what reason we don't know. Yeah. Go off and make your own research and you can realise that what Clive is saying is true, yeah. but it's not actually told yeah. in the mainstream media. You've just heard Clive in person. What are your thoughts? Oh, no, just a beautiful, genuine man. It's like, you know, an everyday guy, just a family man who's got the same interests, the same passions as I do, and I'm going to be behind him all the way because he loves his country. He's been fighting a long time and he's just not going to give up the fight. And we're all with you, we're behind you guys. So I'm here with Tom. He's just heard Clive speak. So what are your thoughts, Tom? What you... I think that really it's just confirmed my thoughts about Clive. That he really is the person who loves Australia, and he wants to make sure that we have the Australia that we really should have. Authorised by Johnny Hat for the United Australia Party, Merrimack.